This video right here was supposed to be a happy video along with my friend with whom I went to New York City to see Beyonce, which, by the way, did not happen, which is why this video is not going to be a happy one, but yet a very pissed off one. I would have put this video up earlier, but you know what happened. I needed time to cool off, get my mind right, get my thoughts together, and recuperate. Like Tina Turner said, Nam yo ho renge kyo. The outcome of the story that is to follow is that I missed seeing Beyonce. Okay, now, usually the story, the story goes from, you know, forward to end, but we're going to go backwards on that ass, okay? We're going to start from the end and go to the beginning. Stay with me. About maybe three weeks ago, I got wind that Beyonce was doing a free, get it, free, free 99, you ain't got to pay no money. The only kind of money you got to pay is maybe a little bit of transportation, but I digress. Free concert for Good Morning America's concert series in Central Park in New York, which is only about an hour from my house. So I'm all like, mm, I'm going to see Beyonce, going to see Beyonce, boom, which attitude, boom, which attitude. I'm going up to random people, like in the grocery store. Hey, my name is Demetrius. Um, I'm going to see Beyonce this weekend. Are you going? You're not going? Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to see Beyonce. Like, it was just that severe. People don't understand. Seeing Beyonce in concert for me is the best thing. That's like the ultimate goal. In other words, the best thing that could ever happen to me in my entire life. That missing a Beyonce concert is not even... A, how when, what, How the fuck does that happen? I mean, I just don't understand how you can plan for almost three weeks ahead of time and still miss a Beyonce concert. But anyway, let me get into the story because, you know, Jesus says an eye for an eye. That made no sense, but we're going to keep it rolling. Let's hop on into it. We left my house around 10 o'clock p.m., we plan to be there. I plan to be at Central Park waiting in line to see King B no later than 1 o'clock when the concert started at 7 a.m. Yes, a bitch was camping out. So I had the directions on my phone ready to go. We was going to follow directions step by step by step. We was going to be there on time. I don't know what the fuck happened between the time we left my house and the time we got to New York. But apparently, time just crumbled and we went into some fifth dimension because my friend out of nowhere instead of following the directions that were on the phone for some, by some miracle of god wanted to take a shortcut isn't that always fun sidebar this is a life lesson that i have learned in the past 19 years if somebody goes let's take a shortcut bitch don't take the shortcut it's a trap, it never ends well, and it's not a pretty sight. But me, you know me, I'm always the ball, you know, not I'm gonna say bossy, but the one that's always taking charge and doing stuff. So I'm like, oh, you know a shortcut. Hey, by any means, take the lead. Take me where I need to go. Anything to cut the time between now and me seeing King Beezus, then that's fine with me. Big fucking mistake. Well, it turned out that he clearly didn't know where he was going. How I know this, you might ask? Because when I got off the train to ask the guy for the next direction, he said, you're in Brooklyn. Bitch, what? Did he just, did you, did he just say Brooklyn? Because if he did, you could just push me, you know, in front of that oncoming train. Because Beyonce's gone. She's out of my reach. I'm not going to get to see her. My life is over and I have nothing else to live for. Basically, to make a long story short, we took the wrong train to Brooklyn, past Manhattan. So we had to get another train going back to Manhattan, which took another damn hour. So, in short, we ended up getting to Central Park around 3.30 a.m. But you know what? I really don't blame him. <clears throat> I blame the asshole who had the fucking idea to name all the trains in New York with the letters of the alphabet instead of naming them after where they go. I mean, seems logical to me. And then you got all these immigrants, you don't know whether they're saying N, M, uh, P, Q, X, Y, Z, when they're really saying B. But, oh... It doesn't stop there. There's more. There's more. So when we got there, it was like 10 hundred million thousand queens. Like, hella queens. And no, bitch, I'm not talking about cards. Let's put it this way. If I was Oprah, I could have did a giveaway. You get a fag. And you get a fag. And you get a fag. But after I got there and the shit started, I started to kind of see why a lot of, you know, people don't want to mess with us black folk. Because, you know, we, we, we... we among us, we have some problems, you know, for instance, people who like to smack people upside the head with chairs. First of all, I wish somebody would hit me with a damn chair. You can hit me with the chair if you want to, sweetheart. Go ahead. Do I wouldn't if I were you if you know what's good for you and your girl Beyonce. Because if you hit me with that chair, the first thing I'm going to do is beat your ass to the white meat. Then I'm going to sue Central Park, New York, Beyonce, Kelly, Michelle, Tina, Matthew, and Solange for every brown copper penny they got. 
Then some of was like, oh, he got a gun. I'm like, oh, see, this is the shit I be talking about. Beyonce, I love you, but I'm not about to get shot for your ass. I'm sorry. Then it was people cutting the goddamn line every five seconds, not knowing they was about to get cut. Okay? Then, so nonetheless, we stayed for another four fucking hours, only to have the guys come out with the megaphone talking about something. Due to overcrowding, we will not be letting anybody else in the park. I swear to God, I wanted to cry. Needless to say, we left tired, hungry, upset, disappointed, disgruntled, angry, and essentially Beyonce less. I swear, every time, every day, I mean that day, every time I heard a Beyonce song on the radio, I just wanted to bust out into tears. But anyway, that was my not Beyonce experience, you know, in New York at Central Park. But yeah, see y'all next time.